Russian forces have lost about 1,140 soldiers, 53 artillery systems and 19 armored combat vehicles over the past 24 hours. General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine on Facebook Fighting has been raging near the city of Kharkiv since Russian troops crossed the border to open a new front on May 9. But Ukraine has been largely able to stabilize the front, alleviating immediate fears in the West that Moscow might be able to encircle Kharkiv, Ukraine's second biggest city. Moscow has so far been able to replenish its troops without ordering a mass mobilization by offering recruits generous wages and signing bonuses. It has been able to recruit about 30,000 to 40,000 soldiers every month, according to an estimate by the UK Defence Ministry. Ukraine is facing a shortage of munitions, fighters, and air defences, and is also suffering mass casualties. And while Russia's offensive in Kharkiv appears to have stalled for now, the push has managed to achieve at least one of its goals, to draw Ukrainian critical reserves into the region, away from defensive positions in the east, as Russian forces have continued to advance on the eastern axis, signaling their commitment to pressing ahead and trying to take the entire Donetsk region.